Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Today we are going to build my first puzzle box. I got this DIY kit from Karakuri and it is a simplified version of the Tamate box. This is very exciting for me because I have always wanted to design my own puzzles and this seems to bring me one step closer to my goal. Let's start building and see how the mechanism works, shall we? Okay, so this is from Karakuri and as you can see this is the end product. I will show you the whole process of building it. So we will quickly open up the packaging and we will find this colorful, cheerful assembly instructions all in Japanese. I can only read some basic hiragana but not to worry as the illustrations are clear enough that I should be able to work out what has to be done to build the whole puzzle. First I quickly went through the parts to make sure everything is in order. Somehow this reminds me of putting an IKEA furniture together, but the instructions menu is much much nicer. Actually I haven't been making models for quite some time except for building the Harry Potter Diagon Alley Lego a while back, so this should be very fun. There are basically 6 steps to complete, so this should only take around 10 to 15 minutes. For the first step, I need to take the thick base piece and then the corresponding walls and it should fit like so. Okay then I just grabbed the glue from my daughter's art and craft supplies. This should do the job, that's adhesive for the wood pieces. In the illustration, it has some pink colored shading and I guess those are where I need to apply glue. It also recommended using some masking tape and I guess those are for securing the frame while letting the glue dry. Oh, and I must say the red string that came with the puzzle looks really sharp. Just love it. Now I just place the string in the grooves like this and now carefully apply glue around the base then placing the base plate carefully just to make sure everything is aligned like so and the bottom of the box should be done looks very really nice it fits very well no sharp edges or misfits so that's it for this step whilst the bottom part is drying let's move on to the second step which should be the box cover the construction is very similar to the bottom but using a thinner piece as the top and no string is required I use the same glue on the pink shaded areas and now I'll just Quickly glue everything in and move it on. Now to the third step and we are moving closer to the mechanism. I have to make sure to find the diamond shapes which are pointing at the right direction. Applying glue and carefully place them at the corresponding position making sure they are correct. Next up are these rectangular pieces. For these I need to check which orientation is correct by making sure the height is the same as the diamond pieces. Pretty easy, but just to make sure. Now to the cool part, the fourth step which is the final part of the mechanism. The piece of spring here has to be put in at the end of the wooden piece like so. I need to put it through the hole and the spring at the end of one of the boxes like so aligning with the rectangular pieces. Pulling the string out to give some space and put this through the hole like so and then compress the spring so to make sure the mechanism works. And then lastly, the piece of st 
string has to be placed within the groove of the final piece like so and now it all makes sense when I pull the string the mechanism is just like a latch bolt at the door lock so the protrusion will move inwards when I pull the string to give it tension and this should free the lid so making sure everything is working now I can glue the fake base of the box into it as well Woohoo! Now let's try it out. Putting the lid over the box should work both ways and like so. Wow the click is so satisfying. Now we're trying to align the string so it is more or less symmetrical and both sides have an amount of string. And now I just have to try and tie a really nice knot on the top. Oh, and I must tie the ends of the string with two knots so it would not accidentally be pulled out of the mechanism. Otherwise, I have no idea how I can reset the whole thing given I have already glued everything together and I have to take it everything apart to place the string back to its original position. And I am not very satisfied with the knots that I did on the first attempt so I will just tie them again with a nicer and bigger knot near the end. Being a perfectionist myself I can't stand not fully making it as the best that I can. And also the main knot in the middle, I will change the normal bow knot into the Berluti knot. Actually I learned this knot for tying my shoes and it's re a really cool knot and I will recommend anyone who needs to tie their shoelaces especially for their work shoes using this Berluti knot technique. It is much tougher to... it will, it will not slip and it looks much nicer. Now you can take a look for yourself. Nice! And this is my first puzzle box. I'm super happy with this. The mechanism is very simple yet effective and clever. <coughs> Opening the box is not just by untying the knot but also requires to pull the string outwards. Actually I bought 4 DIY kits like these and I plan to make one video out of every one of them. I am actually very impressed by the quality of this kit, even though it's relatively inexpensive and it is made out of basic plywood, the quality and fit of the pieces are perfect, so no sanding is needed and everything just fits smoothly. I guess that's just the Karakuri type of quality. And I'm certainly looking forward to building my next puzzle. Well that's about it for this video, hopefully you have enjoyed this journey as much as I did. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel now. And if you have any puzzles you think I should try out, leave a comment below. I will try to upload a different puzzle video a week. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.